47 days since the start of the war in Gaza, and a glimmer of hope for the families of over 230 hostages held captive by Hamas. Early Tuesday morning, Israel's cabinet approved a hostage deal with Hamas that would see the release of 50 women and children hostages in exchange for a four-day ceasefire. Tonight, we face a difficult decision, but it is the right decision. All the security factors fully support it. They clarified in their full professional assessment the security of our forces will be guaranteed during the days of ceasefire and that the intelligence effort will be maintained. Under the deal, confirmed also by the US and Qatar, 50 civilian hostages will be released in four batches, one day at a time. After four days, the ceasefire will be extended by one day for the release of 10 additional hostages. In exchange, Israel will release 150 Palestinian security prisoners, women and minors, but none convicted of murder. Israel commits to limit its drone surveillance activity in northern Gaza and to completely suspend it in the south during the ceasefire. Israel will also allow 300 aid trucks to enter Gaza, including fuel. Without the continuation of military pressure, there won't be any chance to bring back the next groups of hostages that we want to bring back. I believe that we are at a decisive moment in this matter, and we all hope that there will be a temporary truce, according to which the hostilities will be halted for a few days. Relief entry to our people will be intensified, and civilians, women and children, will be exchanged for women and children from the occupation prisons. The Lebanese newspaper Nidal Watan reports that while not a side to the deal, Hezbollah will adhere to the ceasefire as well, provided Israel does so too. As for the families of the hostages, news of the expected deal were received with mixed feelings. On one side, I'm, I'm happy. Second, uh, I'm, I'm worried, okay, because uh, nobody told me that my uh, family will be this in this, uh, this uh, uh, deal. Okay, there was 40 children in, inside Gaza and they go to release only 30. Where are the others? I don't know. And I hope that everybody will release them. A deal with the devil, some Israelis are calling this, but with no real alternative, Israel will have to prove that the war effort isn't heard by it. The same thing goes to the chances to bring back the rest of the hostages.